Welcome to RTI, innovative quality assurance solutions for all your X-ray equipment. The rapid developments in CT technology are placing new demands on the methods and equipment used for quality assurance. With standard CT ionization chambers, you are only getting a limited dose value for 10 centimeters. The CT Dose Profiler has been developed to resolve this problem as it provides a dose value for an unlimited length. The CT Dose Profiler will, in just one shot, give you a complete picture of the dose profile and it can also give you all CT dose index parameters, dose length product, geometric efficiency, and full width at half maximum. With the CT dose profiler, you only have to perform one helical scan instead of the usual five axial scans due to the automatic calculations in the program. The variable length allows the probe to fit into various different CT dose index phantoms. When you've finished, your customized report is just a click away. This film will guide you through how to carry out a measurement in a CT dose index phantom and free in air in a CT using the CT dose profile probe, the Piranha, and the Ocean software. It is important that you know how your CT works and what parameters you wish to measure. First, we have to set up the phantom and insert the detector. The detector should be placed in the central hole and the detector sensor should be centered. Make sure that the detector doesn't move during the exposure. This can be done by fixing it with some tape, for example. Align the phantom with the lasers so that the CT dose profiler is in the ISO center. To prepare for the measurement, you must first make a patient standard protocol based on the head or body and then perform a scout of the phantom. Once this is done, you should mark above the phantom where the measurement should be taken. Start just before and stop just after the phantom. Connect the Piranha to the Ocean software. The following steps only need to be carried out once. These settings can be used once again when you, for instance, carry out next year's measurement. In this instruction film, we will be using an existing template in Ocean. To begin, Ensure the CT manufacturer and CT type are selected. This is to get the right K factor. The K factor is what allows the CT dose profiler to extract all the parameters in one exposure. You must also select the correct measuring mode, in this case, a measurement in a head phantom. If you know the total inherent filtration, you can add that too. Or you can use the default value of seven millimeters of aluminum. Once the measurement settings have been set for the scan over the phantom, you should enter the measuring parameters into Ocean. Kilovolt, collimation, this is the thickness of the total detector area used in the CT. Sometimes you have to calculate the thickness yourself. Pitch, scan length, this parameter must be added to get the dose length product. For helical scans, Two collimation links must be added to the length you see in the scouts. Tube rotation time. Measuring time. This is the time it will take Ocean to collect the data from the measurement. This should cover the scan time. It is a good idea to choose parameters that shorten the scan time. For example, by selecting a higher pitch. When all parameters have been added, Ocean will automatically calculate the scan speed. We are now ready to do the first measurement. Wait for the delay that occurs in some CTs. 
You then start the measurement process for both the CT and the Ocean software at the same time. The probe will move through the X-ray beam and you will be able to monitor progress as it counts up to 100%. The measurement process is now complete. With just one scan, Ocean has measured the full dose profile and collected values for the full CT dose index, CT dose index 100, CT dose index weighted, CT dose index volume, and dose length product. You can see a clear view of the dose profile. The dose between the two red lines is the CT dose index 100. You can see the attenuation in the neck support at the top of the dose profile. Save the data. We will now carry out a free in-air measurement. This will check the true thickness of the beam at the center of the CT and also check the geometric efficiency. First, you have to put the CT dose profile detector into the correct position. A tip is to use the phantom you just used as a stand. Align the detector with the lasers. Perform a new scout. When you prepare for the next exposure, you should perform a scan over the CT dose profiler detector, but stop before you get to the phantom. Once the measurement settings have been set for the scan over the detector, you should enter the measuring parameters into Ocean again. Kilovolt, collimation, pitch, scan length is not required for free in-air measurements. Tube rotation time, measuring time. This could take slightly less time for free in-air measurements as the dose profile is not that wide and you get a better resolution in the waveform if you capture the dose profile with a shorter measuring time in ocean compared to the exposure time in the CT. Once all parameters have been added, ocean will automatically calculate the scan speed. Perform the new scan. Start the CT and start the measurement process in Ocean. Once the measurement process is complete, you will have a true picture of the X-ray beam and can study the CT dose index 100, the full width at half maximum, and the geometric efficiency. The geometric efficiency should be greater than 70% or the CT will issue a warning. The distance between the two black lines is the collimation. Save the data. To print a customized report, just go to Reporting. For Ocean professional users, you can of course customize the measuring template any way you like. For instance, you can add your own calculations and add your own k-factor 